Smoke a hundred blunts back to back on the daily. Certified stoner constantly inhale and run laps around the back. I done probably put a mile in sativa kicking in. Thanks for rolling up. I'm Two Blood Marley, and this is Certified Pothead. Smoking on one of my afternoon spliffs. You know what you about to do, Bird Club? About to take a look at these cannabis conspiracy theories, which I like to call cannabis conspiracy theories. Today's theory revolves around 420. Welcome, friends, to the most puffacular mystery this side of being sober. A tale of haze, humor, and high spirits. And I don't mean the tequila kind. Every April 20th, under the cover of Midnight Mist, stoners say a supernatural figure roams the earth, seeking something he's lost. They call him the stoner, or blazy if you're on good terms. And let me tell you, he's the chillest ghost to haunt your world. No rattling chains or eerie wails for him. Nah, bruh. This guy just wants one last hit of that herb he loves so dearly in life. So sit back, light one up, legally of course, and let's dive into the fog of this ultimate 420 conspiracy theory. Our tale begins many, many years ago on a 420 just like any other, when a legendary stoner, let's call him Blazy, was all set for the ultimate session. Blazy had saved his finest joint for sunset, aiming for the high of all highs. He called it the final blaze. A joint so well crafted it practically had its own personality. Imagine a piece of artisanal craftsmanship, like a resonance words, renaissance painting of a joint. With a lighter in hand and stars in his eyes, Blazy wandered down to the river, ready to let the good vibes roll like smoke rings in the night. But fate, like a lighter with no fluid, had other plans. As he went to light his masterpiece, that magical joint slipped from his fingers like a mischievous nug at the bottom of a bag and tumbled into the river. Time froze as Blazy watched this creation float away, bobbing on the surface like the last go in a can. A lesser stoner would have let it go, but not Blazy, but the frantic, I can't let it just float away, man. He dove in, shoes and all, started waiting after his beloved final blaze. He reached for it, lunged for it, stumbled after it until he was so deep in the water his destiny was sealed legend says he was last seen grasping at his drifting joint his spirit lifted to the great green beyond as the joint faded downstream thus born the legend of the spectral stoner a ghostly green ghoul doomed upon the world on forever in search of that one last here's a riddle for you i'm the time when green feels best when smoke in the air and munchies possessed, not quite lunch nor supper either, but twice a day, you'll catch believers. What am I? Every year as April 20th rolls around, blazy spirits emerge from the mist, drawn by the scent of freshly sparked joints. To those who've seen him, he's unmistakable. An airy green figure dressed in a classic stoner garb of tie-dye, with a shaggy headband and a ghostly guitar slung over his back and of course he glows with a light so faint it's almost barely there now spotting blazy isn't like seeing any ordinary ghost for one he doesn't rattle chains or haunt castles nah bruh he floats through dorm rooms backyards and skate parks leaving behind a faint aroma of weed and strangely peaceful vibes some claim to hear him murmuring got any green bruh mind sharing man like the world's most polite to say they sense his presence when strange things happen on 420. Snacks mysteriously vanish. Bags seem lighter than they were moments ago. And lighter seem to be like socks in the dryer. One day they're there, the next, poof, they're gone. Like a, a smoke in the breeze. Here's another riddle for you. We were five friends, just kids back then, seeking treasures. Now and then, a map in hand, we'd search with glee. The green was key for me. Who are we? If you're brave or baked enough to want to meet Blazy, rumor has it there's a simple way to summon him. On the night of April 19th, stoners around the world leave out an offering. A well-rolled joint, a bowl of chips, and if you're feeling generous, a cosmic brownie or two. These offerings are placed by the window or on a ledge outside under the light of the moon. If Blazy is pleased, he may visit your offering, leaving the snacks mysteriously emptied and the joint suspiciously lit up in the by the morning those who swear by the ritual say it brings good vibes fortune perhaps a day of unexpected chill or maybe that rare phenomenon known as bottomless bag the stash that no matter how much you smoke never empties it's like getting a visit from santa but instead of toys he leaves you with peace and joy only a true stone or spirit can bestow but if you neglect to honor him 
Well, be prepared for a 420 of lighter losses, mysteriously missing snacks, and that sinking feeling when you realize you forgot the munchies. Riddle type. I'm not quite a myth, but shrouded in lore. I started in schools, but now I'm much more. From lingo to holidays, I've made the leap. I'm not in the dress, though some call me street. What am I? Now, Blazy isn't just any old ghost. Nah, bruh. He's the kind of spirit who brings the aura of absolute chill wherever he drifts. Forget haunted houses and spooky vibes. Blazy's got the vibe of your friend's basement after a particularly mellow session. People counter him feeling a strange calm, even during heated games of Mario Kart. He could just smoke without actually smoking said one witness even my dog look more he's also rumored to possess the mysterious power to borrow from the living they say blazy's influence causes lighter snacks and even the occasional stash to vanish only to reappear later in unexpected it's a ghostly redistribution of goodies that no one can quite explain ever set your ladder down look away and when you turn back it's gone that's classic blazy for those lucky enough to feel Blazy's aurora, it's as if he's passing along the chillest ghostly vibes. The rumors say he's like the Bob Marley of the afterlife. More peace, love, and munchies than horror and haunting. Instead of rattling chains, Blazy's floating around making sure that stoners everywhere keep their groove going strong. Here's another riddle for you. I'm the herb you grow or with history stretching decades back. It's taboo, now celebrated with where I reside. What am I? As 420 fades to dawn, and blazy spirits start to dissipate like morning dew, he leaves behind a faint message in the mist. Life's short, man. Don't waste a good vibe. And remember, always have extra snacks. And honestly, isn't that wisdom we could all use? So if you ever find yourself caught in the 420 mist, or if you feel an extra chill when the sun set on April 19th, Take a whiff, you might just be in the presence of the spectral stoner itself, watching over you, making sure you're living your best, most elevated life. And if you suddenly realize you're out of lighter fluid and your chips are mysteriously empty, don't worry, that's just Blazy stopping by to share a laugh and maybe borrow a bit of that good vibes for itself. The answers to the riddles. The Waddles 420 Cannabis. I'll see y'all in the next one, bruh.